Welcome to the channel folks, Clunkers and Classics, where we are restoring this 68 Chevelle Nomad wagon. Now today, in this episode, we're going to make some door panels from out of scratch, out of nothing. Okay. Uh, the last couple episodes, if you want to go back there and watch, show you how to take out these clips and handles. It's not hard. Got some clips. Clips in here, screws along the bottom. It folds over here like this. And they were just in terrible shape, or most of them were. Okay, here's the passenger front right here. Okay, you can just see what the weather and stuff 54 years did to it. Okay, um, this is the metal, we're gonna reuse this. So, if you don't have the door panels, you're gonna have to get these top pieces. Or you could probably make something, but it'd be a little bit harder than what we're gonna do. Okay, um, these are, I don't know what they are, little plastic rivets or something that's riveting this cardboard type material onto this. Okay, here's the clips that went into the side. See, they got little, there are little holes in here, and that slides in the hole. So, if you're going to re, redo it the same way, same with here, see it just... It just slides in there. So you gotta make sure you got the the hole in the right spot. You could get it in the right spot, but then once you put this in, it's gonna slide either for up or down. So you gotta make your hole actually different from the hole in the car. And that's for this one here. Okay. Now, I wanted to get a sheet of plastic Lexan type stuff But that stuff is way too expensive. It's like a hundred dollars for a sheet probably this big um, Little sheets like this were like 68 bucks You know from like here down over It's crazy So anyway, I hate to do it, but I'm gonna make it out of this very thin wood It was 25 bucks uh, what do they call it? Hobby board or something. Whatever, I don't know if you can read that. Okay, and it's going to be enough. It's, I don't know what size it is. It's thin, eighth inch maybe. I'd like to have thinner plastic. So it would be weatherproof. But this has got to be better than the cardboard, right? So... That's what we're going to use to cut up all four pieces. That's the passenger front. Some of them aren't too bad. Well, this is the driver's driver's front. Okay. Uh, the only thing we're not probably we're not going to get done this video is to put on these. Uh, belt sweet moldings whatever you want to call them um, I don't have my glasses on I think they're stapled on there but you can rivet or screw them on there this is metal here this metal piece um, they're not coming till August I got them ordered but it's uh, I won't get them till August so we're gonna do everything but put them on but I'm going to mount them on the door so you can see what they look like. I'll just, I'll have to take them off anyway to paint the car. Because i gotta, I got to have these off to take off the lock and the door handle and all that. Okay, and these are the two back ones here. They weren't too bad of shape. But, same thing, it's got a metal piece here. We're going to, I'll go over it. 
step by step. So we're going to make it out of that wood and then we're going to uh, glue this material. Now this material was I think $55 off of eBay. I'll show you later when we get uncover all of it, but it's like a diamond shape uh, uh, fake leather type stuff with a little padding on it. Okay, so we got 55 in this. I got a quart of contact cement for 16. I doubt we'll use all of it. And this was 25. So you can add that up. Uh, it'd be under 100 bucks. For new door panels, it's probably 400, probably over that now if you to get new ones. Okay, so first thing, puppy's laying on it now. Uh, we're gonna take off the, the metal piece, just pull it off, cut the material from the front, and then we're gonna lay it on there and trace it, trace it onto the wood. Um, if you don't have if you don't have the old door panels go ahead and use a piece of paper cardboard you know some paper like this put it on here and trace it and then you'll be able to trace it from where it clips in see you just get it a little bit of a, a little bit before the door edge there and then uh, you just trace that out as a template put it on the wood then cut the wood out Okay, so uh, let me get started on that. I'm not sure what woodworking tools I got. I had a little uh, uh, skill saw, whatever it is, jigsaw. I have one around somewhere. I'm going to have to hunt for it. But let me uh, get this first one done or traced out, get going on it, and I'll, I'll come back and show you. Okay, guys. Uh, I cut this piece first and then for some reason I got a little short here so I kind of just taped a little piece on there and then I I thought I was only going to get four pieces out of this but I'll get I'll get five so I'm gonna I use that one as a template and made this one and then once I got that on there the little holes for this didn't quite line up. See, so one lines up there, there, and there. And I had it up too high. Well, it's up too high because this piece here would have been would have been just barely touching. That's why I had to up them screw holes. So the steel piece here, we put it over top. I traced out in green and then I'm gonna just put uh, some screws you can put screws or rivets or something all the way around there and attach that real good okay I don't know if glue will hold it but I'm just gonna put some screws in and then at the back just uh, die grind the end of the screws off back there so I think this will work I can I, yeah I can make I'm probably gonna make one more uh, drivers front passenger front are both the same size so this is the original piece I cut off here and then I cut it off here so I can cut one more there and then two for the back down there okay so uh, I'll get the two front ones cut and this metal mounted on there and then I'll be back I may I may just put a little bit of filler in there you don't really have to it's not even gonna show really I probably just leave, should leave it see it doesn't even show anyway yeah I'll probably just leave it and then this wood splintered here whenever I glue the uh, material on there I'm gonna put some contact cement underneath there glue that back on and then we'll glue the material to this okay I'll be back okay guys 
let's put a bunch of little screws there uh these screws i had left over from uh when i was making those hinges for the storage box in the back uh i think the material will cover that they kind of stick up a little bit a couple of them do okay so anyway yeah you want to keep putting it on and off to uh, make sure it all fits fits around the edges here um, it's still a little bit high because uh, I had to put it up there so I might I might cut this out just a little bit just a little bit under there and a little bit under there I just did this one here and you can see that hole lines up that hole there lines up and that hole lines up um, so yeah I'm just gonna wall that out a little bit more there a little bit more there just to give it a little extra because but it, it should be all right okay so I think that's it it just uh, just like that just this little ledge little ledge there goes over top of this one so make sure that goes up and down without binding or anything and it goes in behind here too so that's pretty close um, almost time to glue the material on there so I'm gonna wallow them out just a little bit more just for extra insurance and then we'll uh, well I'm gonna get the other side ready the driver's side and then we'll uh, get some material and glue glue out I'll, I'll show you that material I'll unroll it over there and uh, I'll be back in a minute okay guys I'm putting speaker holes in it so I had to cut out a hole for uh, speakers and cover um, I also did the driver's side driver's side front is done well except for the speaker hole and that's it here got that all screwed on there and everything okay uh, the tools I'm using I got this little jigsaw thing that's what I used to cut the uh, speaker hole from out with and then I got a big drill bit that's what I'm using for uh, for these holes here for the screws for the handle and then I got a big uh, I got this sawzall here this is for the uh, window winder pull handle right there so those are the tools you need okay so uh yeah let me cut out the uh rear ones and i'll be back okay guys i got the uh rear door panel broken down uh it's just got the window winder and the pole latch um but i'm putting on the uh the armrest with the ashtray <clears throat> but you gotta tear it down here's the piece of metal that's on top like that and it's kind of it's kind of pressed <coughs> You can't really tell. I don't know exactly how it's. It's kind of pressed in. Not with the rivets, but. Uh, so I had to grind down this edge here. So it'll be flush. And then this is the uh, the weather stripping. I got them new ones coming, but they're not going to be here till August. And those are stapled on there. You can see the staples there and there and when you put your new one on you can uh, you can't really I don't know what 
here's the little holes where the staples go. I'm just going to put in little screws. I like the little screws I've been using to put this on the plywood. I'll just put a bunch of little screws in there. Or rivets or something. Um, okay, so what you want to do is take this panel here and put it up. I'll probably put it down where the puppy's at, but she's right in the way. So you want to put that on and kind of tape it on there and then trace it. Okay, so you trace it on there and then put your circles. And then a little bit later, I'm going to have to put figure out where that door panel goes. Uh, the door armrest ashtray thing. And uh, I think it's three screws and I'll have to drill some uh, screws in the metal door and then drill three <coughs> holes in this panel but anyway uh, I'll be back okay guys show you what I got in the mail today this is the bundle of uh, the front door these are the springs. I probably won't use them, but... Okay. So this is for a two-door. So I, I didn't get this. I'm going to have... If I want new ones for the rear door, I'm going to have to order another one of those and another... Or two of those and two of these. But anyway, this is enough to do the front. There's the little winders for the uh, vent windows. So you got two of them. Two pole handles and two window winders and then four uh, little grommets and springs okay um, this is the door rubber kit showed you for the fenders for the doors and for the hood hood deal hood stopper Okay, and then I had to buy four more for the uh, rear doors. So that's them. Here's the two-inch, although it says uh, two-inch depth, but it slopes down. Yeah, two-inch, and then one and a quarter. Uh, spacers for the rear speakers. I'm putting six by nines in the rear door. So those are little spacers to keep it, keep the speaker from hitting the window regulator track thing okay and then the last here's a little fuse block they even give you a whole bunch of fuses different sizes this is what 20 bucks so you put your uh, <clears throat> positive on one of those negative there put your fuses in and then you uh, you put your positive to whichever fuse, like that one there, and then your negative up here. So anyway, that's my little auxiliary fuse block for uh, for the uh, sunroof, the power seat, uh, probably uh, backup electric fans, uh, stereo stuff like that. Okay, so that's the stuff. Kitty's right in my way. Kitty, you're supposed to be helping, not. Okay, so. Okay, so when we put on the new door panels, I'll put on these new stuff there to show you. You know, I got the ones with the black. All black. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys. There it is here. It's the old panel. Flip it around. Like that. So once you cut it out, just bring back the old panel. Make sure it lines up. It doesn't have to be perfect. If it's an eighth of an inch off or something, it'd be all right. And there's the holes lined up. I still got to do the, uh, like I said, these, these armrest things here.
Oh, actually there is... Oh, they may not fit, guys. It's not like the front, it doesn't have an opening for the... Uh, See these front door, front ones there, they got an opening right here for the handle, and these ones don't. So I may not, I may not put them on there, I'm not sure. So anyway, uh, that's the uh, right rear, and all you do is you flip that around, and that's for the left rear. So you basically just uh, use this template here and cut out another one. Okay, also I'm using the, uh, uh, the saw here to cut it with. Okay, not really much tools to uh, do it with. So I'm gonna make another one and uh, then we'll line up the uh, this metal have to tear down the other door panel and take this off the other door panel and we'll line that up to the door put this on there line that up where it's supposed to be and same thing as the front we'll just put a bunch of screws in there okay so I'll be back when I get that done okay guys I got all the panels cut and made put them Anyway, I'll just, all four of them. Fit them on there, trim them a little bit. You don't want it too wide because you'll hit the, the door jam area. So make sure it's, you know, it can be off, of, you know, like I said before, about an eighth of an inch or so, but not too much. Just take it off, cut it again. Just keep cutting. Okay, I got all the speaker holes cut. Okay, here's the material. Big roll of it. Uh, I forgot exactly how much it was. I mean, how much material. I think it was like 56 bucks, but uh, the length and everything of it. Okay, I think I'm going to lay this out on my trailer. So let me lay it out there. And uh, we'll lay the panels on top and just cut it with the uh, scissors all the way around you know leave uh leave a couple inches around the edges but let's just do that i'll be back in a minute okay guys as you can see that's a lot of material that's about twice as uh much as we need but that's okay we got a a lot of stuff to recover i got plain black for the dash but we can use this for the extra for uh, maybe the back panels. We'll see how much we got left. But let me lay out the panels and I'll be back. Okay. There they're laid out. We're going to cut it. Cut it with some scissors. Cut four squares out. And yes, it looks like it's. Uh, oh, don't. No, we're only using about half of it. So that was $56. We're really only using, what, 28 bucks? Um, like I said, we'll use the other part for either some trim panels or, uh, in the, probably in the back there somewhere, have a lot of extra. Okay, so let me cut them up and we'll cover them one by one, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, I laid it out here on a piece of wood. There's the, uh, panel and then the, uh, piece that's cut out. Okay, uh, there's a contact cement here. This is actually a can that still has some in it. Um, so use a brush and just coat on, uh, coat on one good coat here. One coat on the material and lay it over. Make sure you got enough, uh, you know, an eight, at least an inch or so on the edge there. 
So we're going to do this. And uh, I lost my good squeegee, but it's like a Bondo spreader. And just spread it like this after you put the glue on. Like that. See, this material's got some backing on it. Not a whole lot, but just enough. Okay, and put it up here. I don't think you can really notice the screw holes or anything like that. Uh, it's a little bit, you know, where the metal joins. If you wanted to, you could use a piece. Instead of backing, cut a little strip off and put it across here. Okay, I might do that. And then and then lay that over. I don't know. It's barely, barely noticeable. Barely. I might just leave it like that. I don't know. I'll cut off a little strip and see if it makes a big difference. Okay, so let me get some glue on that. You don't really need to see me do it. It's pretty self-explanatory just get the brush glue that side that side let it sit for a minute put it on there squeegee it flat and then we'll flip it over and trim this edge and tape i'll show you when i get there i'll be back okay guys uh what you want to do is like half of it so you lay it out like that i just did this bottom half you want to kind of lay it over like that this back here is glued in. Okay, and you got to make sure you get all the little pieces of sawdust and crap off there. Uh, I put a little strip on here. What do I do with it? You know, but it actually felt more of a, a bulge on there. So, unless you wanted to do two pieces or get some thicker under uh under stuff there and do do the whole thing but i i'm not going to worry about it it's not that bad okay so you want to glue half just half of it that way if you try to do the whole thing and get it kind of cockeyed uh and then trying to unstick it, it's just going to be a pain in the ass so you just kind of lay it out like that and just roll up half now don't do the ed the other the edges here don't fold them under yet just just contact cement the top, okay? And then I'm gonna do this part. Like I said, put some over here, over here. It's gonna have to stretch a little bit here, but we'll worry about that when the, when we get to it. We may have to heat it up, stretch it, whatever. And then once that's done, then we flip it over and kinda, and I'll show you how we do the side there. You just fold it under, but you have to cut little slits here so it folds in easy okay so you know there's the cement this is all you do just put it on like that coat on each side it's so hot out here that it's just gonna dry and real quick so if you're in cold weather let it dry for a while until it's t real tacky okay so I'll be back okay guys that's the top. Now I didn't do this very bottom down here because I wanna flip it over first. So we got that side. Flip it over like this. Okay, then you wanna cut around with a razor blade or scissors. Uh, leave an inch or two and then what we're going to do is you want to glue that and fold it over like that and then put some masking tape right here and hold it until it dries and this you can when you come up to a round just kind of can you see what I'm doing just kind of pinch it like that See like that? But then you you want to cut a slit in there so you can glue it flat. I'll show you here in a minute. And then we're gonna glue the material went up 
through here and over or went down to the bottom so we're going to glue that up to here so we'll cut that up to there now we're going to have to stretch this just a little bit and uh, cut it to fit and then just tape it just tape it up till it dries real good yeah it's not going to have to stretch too much the other thing is this is <clears throat> I buy the thicker stuff it's a marine grade so it's made for like boats so uh you know it's uv protected and all that you can buy the real thin stuff to do your dashes and door panels that's real stretchy and everything but i wouldn't trust it you know i like the thicker stuff even though it's a little bit harder to to uh do the little bends that this bend ain't going to be no problem um so like i said it's it'll last a lot longer and Okay, so uh, let me get that done, and I'll show you show you on the corners mainly, and show you how this turned out. So I'll be back, and then you want to take your razor blade and cut out your your uh, speaker hole. This one here, I would suggest just cutting an X. Where's the cut a little X in here? instead of cutting a whole circle out that way you don't have a big you know a big hole there you just need a little x and then the little window winder will pop through there and the door latch and uh, then you can just kind of cut around on the other side just kind of cut the little edges just enough for it to fit you don't want to you don't want it too big okay i'll be back guys i got a problem with this material put masking tape on it it'll peel off see this I'm gonna have to I tried to take it off real easy with a razor blade but look it's peeling peeling the top layer off and then it kind of Geez, I don't know. I never had material do that before. I may have to put another coat of material on this. I'm going to go ahead and finish it just to show y'all. See, it's I glued it around here and then uh, just put the tape there. So I'm going to have to remember not to tape the other side. But I'm worried about that... Uh, coming off with with you know other than tape rubbing off somehow we're gonna have to see they're gonna get a nasty email from me as a place through eBay but anyway let me uh like I said around this corner here I just cut a few slits like I showed you kind of bend it and then cut a slit in there so it's not all all too thick I'll be back Okay, guys, just taped up all the edge there. You can probably just leave that on there so nobody, nobody's going to see it anyway. It's going to be underneath. Uh, and here I put some paint sticks. Tried to put not too much tape in case it peeled off. And here's the speaker thing I cut out. Watch when I put some tape on here. I'll take a... Tape on like that. Nope. It didn't do it. I was thinking maybe it was contaminated, but maybe that contact cement does something to it. Because, see, it did it here on the edge. And I thought, oh shit, I had some tape on the other side. Not. Well, it's not doing it on that. 
I got some contact cement on there. Anyway, I'm going to mess with it farther, uh, test it farther. But that's basically one done. We'll let that dry, mainly here. And then uh, we'll do the, do the other one. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys. Did this front one here. These are just the holes to mount the armrests. Okay, you can see the deals there. Uh, I did a little experiment with the tape on a piece that hasn't, I thought maybe the contact cement was on there and making it peel, but it's not. I used a piece that didn't have any contact cement and it's still done it. So I don't know what's wrong with this material. Uh, I'm going to email them and tell them. But I'm just going to go ahead and use them for now. I mean, uh, the easy part is to cover them because they're pretty square and there's not much, you know, curves and all that stuff, uh, stretching and all that. So if I got to recover them, they send me some better material, I'll recover them. It's no big deal. You all know how to do it. If you don't buy this material, I, I can't even remember the seller's name or whatever, but, um, I don't know what else what else to say about the material I'm not a material you know uh, expert um, uh, there's no fabric shops around where I'm, I'm at the, the only place I can get it is eBay so I don't know what to look for I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the marine grade and it's not real thin I thought it'd be good I've never had that problem before with masking tape peeling it um, Okay, oh, so uh, I just looked, and on eBay, there's no door panels available. There used to be, but there's not anymore because they're either all sold out, they're not making them. You know, China's got a big, big uh, problem. Uh, they got two door panels for the front for a two-door made in the USA for 1200 bucks. And if you want, now this is just for a two-door. If you want the rear panels that go in the back, it's about 20, over $2,000 for four. Uh, who knows when they're going to get up production-wise and uh, start making them from China or wherever, but they used to be about 400 for uh, four panels. So anyway... That's what we're going to have to do, because if they're not going to make them, then what are you, what are you going to do? Spend 1000 or $2,000? Okay, so let's, I just want to go over this pull handle. These doors never had anything on them, okay? Nothing. There was no holes to mount these, or nothing, just the handle. Now I was thinking, well, how do they close the door? Do they use this to close the door shut these are off the four-door nova parts car that i got they're all beat up in fact this one you can see the where the screw goes it's missing here i'm gonna have to make something right there and then it's all busted here where the ashtray goes in there was ashtrays in there but they were all rusty um this is all busted here too this is cracked and but I just drilled two screw holes one there and one there seeing it wraps over the handle then you can pull it to close it and then you got the ashtray so these are off a two-door Malibu for the back and I, I thought I was going to use these but it doesn't have the opening this has an opening right here for the uh, for the pull hand for the handle and this one doesn't and then I couldn't make one because I'd be losing a, a mounting spot I couldn't cut that open on either you know unless I drilled the see the hole the hole <laughs> has to be in the exact spot luckily the Nova fit let me show you on the other side <clears throat> It goes right, right here, I believe. 
So you can't stick one all on around here or anything. You just got to go in that exact spot. And luckily the Nova lined up to it. So that's why I couldn't use the Malibu ones, even if I tried cutting them up and trying to make them work. I'll just use the Nova, but I'm going to... I'll glue these up and paint them up and stuff uh, later. But I, I did it. I'd already had these ready to go. So I'm going to use the ashtrays out of these ones and put in there. And and plus this one doesn't have a pull handle. See, there's nothing there's nothing to pull on. Pull on to close it like this. So anyway, I'm gonna make them work. Uh I'm not sure if you can buy you can buy these two front doors, but I don't think the rear doors. Four door parts are hard to come by. Not many places make them. Okay, so uh I was just going to do the front and the rear, but this I actually done the driver's side. So this is the passenger here. I'm going to get this done, and then we're going to mount the rear and the front and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, I got all four done. These two are for the uh, driver's side. Um... I sent a message to the seller of these and told them what happened. Um, this morning, well, it's still this morning, but a couple hours ago, about 7.30, I came out here and uh, I got my thumb and I just kept rubbing and rubbing. It wouldn't come off like it did yesterday uh, with masking tape where you rub your thumb like this. Um, so I guess it's the heat. Because yesterday it was about 95 degrees. So I guess when this gets hot, it starts to come apart. I don't know. But anyway, I rubbed enough to uh, got my thumb raw and it started coming apart like it did when it was hot. And I sent a picture of that to him and a picture of the uh, below the speaker over there. So we'll see what they say. Um, okay. So I'll put the, uh, I put the passenger side on so I can show you what it looks like. That's it there. I haven't painted this uh, handle or put in the speaker. But anyway, that's what it'll look like. If they end up sending some more material that's better, I'll put that on there. But for now, you know, I don't know. Okay, I only had uh, new stuff for the two front doors. I still need a handle. The handle goes here. Okay, so I got a, another handle there, but okay, see this is where it peeled here. I sent him a picture of that. I said I'll put some masking tape on there to hold it and it flaked off. Okay, so yeah, that's what it'll look like. I think it'll look pretty good, as long as it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> so I'll end this video with that. Uh, I think I agree, it's a big improvement over the factory panels here. They were 54 years old and all came apart. Uh, you can do it a little bit different. Like I said, you can get some plastic instead of that thin wood I used. Uh, you can back up that wood if you wanted. Um, you know, you could, if you're afraid of it getting wet, you could paint that or cover it with vinyl too. I may do that. These door panels are, are coming off anyway. The two I put on there, they're coming off. And staying off till after it's painted I think because I gotta you gotta have them panels off to take off the, the lock and the and the handle uh, I may get new handles and then this belt molding here uh, and then I gotta put the, yeah they're not coming till August either the molding that goes on the edge here and then this one here ain't coming till no, another month or so five weeks uh, and then I got this uh, molding here to do it's coming in tomorrow that should be on next video 
so yeah they're pretty much coming off and staying off till for a while but i just wanted to show you and get them done and get that job out of the way okay so if you like uh like share comment um subscribe if you haven't bottom right hand corner of the screen is a little subscribe button it's free doesn't cost anything just click it you should be notified when i have new videos out uh, I think there's like a notification bell. You can click that and it'll notify you when I have new videos. Uh, Want to do that? That'd be great. And follow along with me if you're a new subscriber. Follow along. We're going to uh, restore this car. It's going to be the most recognizable car on YouTube. <laughs> okay, so uh, thanks everybody for watching. And we'll see y'all next video.